What are the best conditioning exercises to improve your triple jump? In this video, we're going to take a look. Triple jump is a very demanding event. At hop landing, you may be overcoming 15 to 20 times your body weight. This places a huge strain on your muscles, ligaments and tendons. Therefore, you need to be specifically conditioned. When I condition, provide strength and conditioning exercises for the triple jumpers in my group, I'm looking at two things, developing greater power to transfer between the phases and of course improve their sprinting, but also and equally crucially and particularly for developing athletes, providing a strong foundation of injury resilience, providing exercises that are going to reduce the potential for injury. I'm going to primarily focus on plyometric drills. Plyometrics are obviously crucial for developing the power required for triple jumping. On screen now you're going to see an array of the exercises that we do to condition the hop, step and jump phases as well as developing general plyometric power. You'll see that we're working across various joint angles. So what do I mean by that? Well, some of the contacts are using a much shallower knee angle compared to others. This is going to develop different types of joint stiffness around the ankle, knee and hip and provide a greater base for developing the overall power needed to triple jump effectively. These straight leg plyometrics, box jumps, traveling box jumps across platforms, are designed to develop upper range reactivity. So as I've said, the knee angle is kept pretty shallow. You must think about keeping your foot locked up as you kick the foot forwards, in particular for the single leg variants, as this will reduce the ability of the knee to yield on contact. Yes, there's going to be a little bit of yielding, but the objective is to have as stiff a contact on the contact as possible. These run on bounds off of a low platform or combinations of hops and bounds are a staple in our training as we approach the competitive season. Do note that you've got to build up to being able to be able to handle the loadings before attempting them. But these are going to accentuate the landing forces and develop greater eccentric capacity in particular. What do I mean by eccentric? Well, on contact with the ground, the muscles of the ankle, knee and hip go on stretch. If you can improve that stretch and the ability to withstand the impact, then the resultant concentric muscular shortening action in the plyometric action will be the more powerful. Plyometric training has been shown to improve joint stiffness and in particular tendon stiffness. Now your tendons connect bone to muscle and they absorb create a lot of the force that the muscles generate. They almost pretense, pre-pull on the muscles to create the force. So the stronger and more resilient your tendons are, the better triple jumper athlete you're going to be. So it's important to realize that plyometric training, not only does it increase your reactivity, but it also increases tendon strength and actually muscle strength in a way that's going to combat injury too. I'm often asked on the channel, what will be my key triple jumping exercises? Well, we're focusing on plyometrics, so you've seen the majority of them here, but just to reiterate, run on bounds off of a low platform, increasing the length of the run up as the season comes closer and also your proficiency and strength improves. Partial contact, hops and bounds, again, you've seen those, but also a lot of eccentric drop jumping. So you're seeing on screen now the guys dropping down from a relatively high platform to land variously on one or two legs. Now that is going to promote the ability to absorb the impacts, develop greater eccentric ability. So that is also key, one of my key exercises or directions I should say of my training. Speaking of muscular actions, another thing that as a triple jumper and indeed long jumper or sprinter that you do need to focus on is isometric strength. An isometric muscular action 
basically there's no movement so you're working against the muscles are working against themselves now for milliseconds in a triple jump contact there will be a isometric action however developing isometric strength will enable you to withstand the forces to a greater extent and research has shown also that isometric training can improve tendon stiffness and strength so again contributing to the potential to develop greater power of course weight training is also crucial to a triple jumper perhaps more so than to a long jumper but i'll say more about weight training for triple jump in a future video it's also important to realize that a lot of the drills skipping drills hip work are key conditioning drills also for the triple jump skipping drills in particular are crucial as they will teach the mechanics of the contacts into the various phases working on the hip complex is also crucial in that when you transition from phase to phase you must elevate and lift the leg from the hip to create the length of the phase and the correct positioning when you make the contacts between the phases so it's crucial that from a conditioning point of view as well you include those types of exercises in your triple jump training too well i hope you appreciated some of the thoughts and ideas for specific triple jump conditioning if you've any specific questions on the content of this video or any others on the channel then do leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media do consider becoming a channel member where i post exclusive videos every month on topics that as a coach or an athlete are going to improve your performance i'm able to delve deeper into those subject matters in those videos for example the latest one looked at post indoor season training the video is 17 minutes long and we look at my training plans how i construct specific sessions and also how i tailor workouts to the needs of individual athletes i know as a coach that trying to coach multiple athletes at the same time can be difficult but in the video coach athlete members video number 18 i make some suggestions so if interested do go over to the home page on your desktop click on the join button and see what offers there are available and please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you can be notified of when i upload videos and as usual good luck with your training and any competitions you've got coming up interested in the extremely accurate and portable free lap timing system then do get in contact with me and if you like the jump squad merchandise go to any of the channel's videos and click on the store underneath and you can get a 15 percent discount if you use the code jump 15. if you're interested in finding out more about theraguns and the theragun elite in particular check out the video on the channel and also look out for special offers and discounts it's great device bluetooth enabled multiple speeds and great for rehab